let's say God does has a plane plane a plan let's say God does has a plan for you let's say let's assume isn't that the assumption of any religion now how may God talk or speak when you don't pay close attention There is a way and there is a form. Relentlessly, Princess Hoku shows you how. In the very, perhaps very simplistic forms of finding the right material for her project or... Which is there waiting for her, but she has to still find it. She has to go through the process of this and that, this and that, and some more. To teach you to look be open to enter in a relationship with yourself and the past you may or may not become but you watch yourself you don't watch anybody else you look at how well you're doing to achieve for your own very selfish purposes you don't let go you don't receive her as you choose to never actually watch her in reality, you do never respect Princess Zilker, while you do not respect yourself. You have no self-worth, you cannot possibly envision someone else having that worth. And disrespect is away from God, and disrespect is away from truth. So you live in a discrepancy, in a constant conflict in your emotion, which you had, may or may not grasp, but you're struggling, you're in incessant war with yourself, acting against your true nature, substituting it for that what you have become, an evil soldier of nothing. See, you do what you think is expected from you to act, to be dishonest, to not love, to repeat phrases and absolutely disrespect God. And internally, how do you really feel? You're angry. You cannot feel other than that. There is something going on inside which rebels against what you did in a fight. As you act in your evil acting and your evil intent and your evil thoughts and your internal struggle, how can you possibly be open to God? How can you start seeing if you don't even start watching Princess Zilka? You don't give her a chance. In other words, you don't give yourself a chance. Why and how is Christ nailed to the cross? Well, that is what you do in accusing Princess Ilka, whatever not, claiming yourself rightful to disturb her, to diminish her, to mistreat her. Acting out deliberately your blunt hate to the world, your disdain to the world at large.